welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, September 23rd, and we are in our new apartment in Toronto. Also, please don't mind my voice. I've had a little bit of a <clears throat> half cold for the last couple of days. So, I'm gonna place you right here on this shelf that Dan and I built the other night. What? Oh my god. So where to begin? Hello from the present day. Sorry. Hi. It's September 30th. I'm coming at you from the future. I'm currently editing this vlog that you guys are watching right now and that I'm going to be posting hopefully in the next half an hour or so. And um, I, I, where we just left me in the vlog was on, I think, oh God, September 23rd. And I had just gotten back from the weekend of wedding festivities. My beautiful cousin Veronica was getting married. And that's actually why we were in Ontario because we were going to her wedding. It was kind of like her wedding, but also like a big family reunion. And it was just a couple days of super fun busyness and I was just very tired and grumpy and I just don't like how I explained this so I am just refilming this now and I'm gonna put it into the vlog and then we'll go back and you guys can continue watching sorry pardon me you can continue watching the rest of the vlog as it goes but I basically just wanted to explain what's happening and what's been going on in the last few months it's been absolutely crazy I also want to mention I'm watching this right now and my lips for all the people who love to hate on my lips, they had just been done when I filmed this, so they're poofy. They're extra poofy. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, that's besides the point. So basically, what happened? Okay, so starting back a little while ago, I left my management. I left INF, and I feel like this is like a necessary starting point because I basically left INF to, to embark on a solo journey. I want to find an in-house team. I want to be able to do some things outside of YouTube and kind of correlate them with YouTube, and I just needed some extra manpower. As you guys have seen from the last few videos, Dan has been working with me, and I'm just super excited and um, I kind of just want to be more in control of the content and my dealings in this whole YouTube business. So I left my management. INF is absolutely wonderful. It was a wonderful two years for all of those people speculating. There was no drama. Nothing happened in Ibiza for those. I don't know. I don't know what I've been seeing online, but it's hilarious that there's like rumors about this. Nothing like that happened. I'm totally just going to be going forward with my own team. So and basically when we were traveling in Europe, um, if you guys know Vanessa, she was actually my manager while I was with INF and she came and joined us in Europe and we had an absolute blast and basically what's been happening if you guys are aware of my apartment here in Vancouver um, it's quite small it's actually a really good size for a one bedroom but it's pretty small I do not have a permanent filming setup I don't have any lights I totally rely on daylight because I don't actually have any space for a permanent lighting setup to be in um, I don't have a studio and it's been really difficult kind of trying to find a bigger apartment they're not as widely available in Vancouver the spaces are typically a lot smaller here they're really into like this whole micro living thing and Dan's gonna be moving in and so we were looking for a larger space anyway so when Vanessa came with us on our Europe trip, she actually lives in Toronto and she's like, you guys, why don't you move to Toronto? Like, I'm leaving my management. I'm gonna have to be like kind of <laughs> putting myself into the world, in the solo world. And all of the beauty brands are located in Toronto, like the YouTube spaces in Toronto. There's just a lot more going on there. It's much more of a hub. Vancouver is like a place where I ultimately want to spend the rest of my life. But I think, I think short term, um, I had never really considered Toronto and she brought that up and I was like, Vanessa, <laughs> Light bulb. Wow, you are so right. That's such a good idea. So, oh, there's a feather flying. Basically, Dan and I were already planning on moving. We were looking for a bigger space in Toronto. These spaces tend to be a lot larger. We've had a lot more luck finding like two bedroom, two bedroom plus den places. There's just a lot more available in Vancouver. It's a much smaller area. There's not as many apartments available. So we were like, okay, let's Let's look at it. I've never considered going back to Ontario. I used to live there. My mom's from Guelph. I have a lot of family there. I used to live in Elmira outside of Kitchener, Waterloo, if any of you are familiar with the area. PDS says, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we were like, okay, we'll we'll consider this. Why not? We're we're young. We can we can handle a big move. So we basically decided that if we look and we find a place that we love we will go to toronto if not no big deal we'll stay in vancouver so we started looking for places and we found many that we loved and because vanessa lives in toronto she was actually viewing apartments on our behalf which was super nice of her and super stressful for her i know i'm so sorry vanessa but we ended up finding a place that we loved another layer to the story my beautiful cousin veronica which if you guys follow me on instagram you'll have already seen it but she was actually getting married 
uh, on September 21st. So months and months and months ago, I had actually already bought tickets for Dan and I to attend my cousin's wedding. So basically my apartment here, the lease isn't up until November 1st. Um, but I already had these tickets booked for September 21st for my cousin's wedding weekend and family reunion, whatever. And so we were like, let's just sign the lease in Toronto earlier so that we can take a load of stuff to Toronto and kind of save ourselves from having to do like one giant move, like it'll break it up a little bit. So that's why I posted on Instagram that we were at this apartment <laughs> in Toronto, but we're not actually fully moving to Toronto until the end of October, which is why I'm back in Vancouver and which is why a lot of you guys on Instagram are very confused. I'm very sorry I didn't post this earlier, but yeah, so we're moving to Toronto. It's super crazy. I never thought those words would be coming out of my mouth, but I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be really fun. And from that kind of one weekend we spent in our new apartment, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to show you guys, but I also wanted to mention a couple of things because I know that you guys love to be kept in the loop and I wanna be like fully honest with you and tell you what's going on and I feel like a lot of things will be a little bit confusing, but this is also going to be a very temporary move because come March or April, something else very exciting is happening in my life and it'll actually bring us back to Vancouver. Um, I don't wanna say anything yet until it actually happens because if anything goes awry and I will have talked about it, I'd be really upset, but for this reason, for us coming back to Vancouver in March or April, I'm actually gonna be putting most of my larger furniture and a lot of my stuff in storage. To save it for that time, I'm not actually moving most of my things. For example, Meryl has destroyed my beautiful gray couch. <laughs> So I won't be taking my couch. Sam's buying my shelf off me. I'm selling my desk because it because it doesn't fit into the new space or the um, future March happenings. <laughs> and we're also upgrading to a king size bed again due to the space that we have. So a lot of things I'm not bringing. My plants are going to be babysat. So so our place in Toronto is going to be pretty temporary. That's why in this vlog you guys will be like, why are you buying new cutlery? Why are you buying new towels? Stuff like that. It's basically just because we're just getting things to last us for a shorter amount of time, and then full decor will come later in the next year. So sorry if that was pretty vague, but there's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. It's been a crazy time. I'm overwhelmed. I've had like five mental breakdowns every day. Poor Dan, <laughs> dealing with my crazy. But uh, yeah, I've been going a little crazy pants. Meryl, um, poor sweet Meryl, she definitely knows something's up. We, like this entire apartment's just, <laughs> I'll just give you guys a little view right now. Just like boxes everywhere. I'm just packing everything up. This is what I mean by the couch. She's like torn the whole thing up like this. It's very sad. Meryl. Meryl. I hope I've explained myself well. I often forget um, what I'm trying to talk about when I don't write notes or anything, so sorry about that. Today's September 30th. We're moving to Toronto by October 17th, kind of. That's when we're aiming for. There's gonna be a lot of changes. It's gonna be really fun. Dan and I are super excited. Um, we're gonna be like officially moving in together even though he does pretty much live with me here, but it's just such a small, cramped space. Like, I just have so much shit in here. <laughs> And I'm really looking forward to having a bigger space. I'm so excited to have an actual filming studio and setup, which you guys will be seeing once this vlog continues. And hopefully that'll be fixing all of our lighting woes, video quality woes. We're super excited. Dan's really excited. I think it's gonna be a really fun time. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Expect another full moving vlog after the 17th. We'll actually like vlog the full moving process when we go there. I kind of just wanted to give a little catch up because I know that a lot of people were confused by the things I was posting on Instagram. So. I'm really sorry about that, but things have been, I don't know, man, time is flying. Time is flying by. I can't believe it's already October tomorrow. Like this is insane. There's going to be a lot more space. It's going to be a lot more like schedule. Like I'm so excited to have a schedule and have an actual workable space for YouTube because I don't really like it when people go entirely highly produced. It kind of takes the joy of YouTube away from me when I feel like I'm watching a movie. So I do want to keep that, but I also do want to, you know, be professional about it. And it makes me really sad seeing people constantly commenting and complaining about like the quality of my videos. That's not something I ever want to, um, be putting out to you guys. I really do want to up my standards in terms of quality, so I'm excited to have that space, but also be making the content that I want to make. So I'm really, really looking forward to doing like more fashion and lifestyle related content and actually having a space to be able to do that. This apartment, I love it so much and it's been so good to me for this year, which I also can't believe it's already been a year in this place. It literally feels like I posted that moving vlog yesterday. <laughs> there just hasn't been room for me to film and grow in here. And with Dan moving in too, we just needed a bigger space and for various reasons, we chose Toronto, so we're going to Toronto. Who the frig knows what's gonna happen in the future, y'all, but this is what's going down now. 
it's gonna be a crazy time. I hope you guys are ready. Please let me know in the comments down below what videos that you wanna be seeing from me because I actually just posted on Instagram and so many of you, if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. I don't know what are you doing? I'm, try I'm kind of trying to plan out my next like month and a half of content, three videos a week. I'm gonna try my best not to miss an upload again. Um, but sometimes life gets in the way, I don't know what to tell you. But let me know what you guys wanna see from me, especially in this new space that you guys are about to see. Let me know what kinds of content you wanna be seeing. And you, okay, I'm gonna stop blabbing now and I'm gonna go edit and upload this video and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog and the new place and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, bye. So here we are, here we are. I'll give you guys a like walkthrough of the disaster that is this apartment right now. Here is the apartment. You walk in, big closet, much toilet paper. <laughs> There's a bathroom in here with all of my stuff and me blowing my nose. <clears throat> yes, bathroom. And then you entree vu the living space. Hello, De Juan. Hello. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, tired. Yes. Uh, ready to go. Excited to go to Home Sense? Let's get this place put together. Dang straight. <laughs> okay, so this is the big living space. Um, we've got a little patio there. I didn't like it at first, I must say, but I'm actually excited about it for winter because I feel like we can actually still use that in the winter. Um, anyway, here's all of my crap and tampons <laughs> spread out on the ground. <laughs> oh, you have the kitchen here. Oh, oh, pardon me. Hmm? <laughs> kitchen here, the cement on all the ceilings, I love so much. This is the kitchen. And then here, this random little slidey door, <clears throat> we have. Oh, our neighbors. <laughs> so this is a very odd thing. We can directly see the neighbors in all of these places and it's very awkward. But this, but this little nook is going to be my beauty filming room. I've already brought all my palettes here. <laughs> this little space here is going to be the filming room. This is gonna be the future backdrop. Um, and this is where I will hopefully have my permanent lights set up. More cement, <laughs> I love it. This is the little, balcony here. Very interesting little nook, but there's a barbecue hookup. So, that's exciting. So then you exit here, and we move on to the corner. Darling, your cologne smells delicious. Move on to the corner here, outside of the kitchen. This is going to be filming room number two. We might put like a little desk or something here, we're not sure, but I bought a clothing rack because I wanna do a lot more fashion related things. So this is kind of going to be a second backdrop permanently set up. Probably going to get a big Fred number two here. Pray for my plants in my absence. Pray for them. So yeah, if you guys have any particular fashion related content that you want to see, let me know because that is going to be a big focus going forward. Hopefully all of the camera equipment, we're going to get some shelves to go in here. All the camera equipment will be set up here. And then we move into here and this is the bedroom, which we don't actually have a bed yet. <laughs> we're waiting for it. I literally went to Walmart and bought a foam pad and put it on top of a rug and that's what we've been sleeping on. It's actually not too bad, but this is the bedroom. All the blinds are closed because again, it kind of looks directly into someone else's apartment, which is weird, but more cement and this is the bathroom, big shower. We need to go get a shower rod <laughs> and a curtain to go in here. Um, hello. Yeah, this is the new, this is the new space, y'all. This is the apartment. So I just wanted to do a good old vlog, catch you guys up on everything that's been happening, let you, let you in on the life, fam. And today, we're gonna go try and find some decorations. We wrote a list. We wrote a big list. We have Ikea and then we have HomeSense on the back. So HomeSense is super close to us. We're gonna go walk there now and then we'll drive to Ikea later. So that's what's the plan today. If you guys want to see us buy some new things to fit in this empty space, then please keep on watching. <laughs> Direct sunlight shining into my soul. It's uh, ooh, it's 6:41 p.m. There's been a lot of day since we last vlogged. This is my putting together furniture hairdo. I can't be in the sun. It's killing my eyes. So, so we went to IKEA, got a whole bunch of stuff, and we actually also went to Henry's, the camera store, 
and I got lighting. I bought this big LED light, some diffusers, and some other things, so that'll be set up and filming and ready in approximately three weeks. And so far, we got those shelves the other day at Ikea, but these are some foot, <laughs> foot <laughs> shoe racks that we're gonna set up. We got some working office chairs. These are all from Ikea, but they're really squishy. They're really, really cozy and nice. We got the heather gray, and you can choose like the color of the chair and then also the color of the legs. We got black. This right there, these two pieces here, is a big table, which is gonna go here, possibly, or there, possibly. Got some stuff from HomeSense, yeah, I talked about that earlier, some kitchen utensils and things. And yeah, we are just going to be setting everything up <laughs> for the rest of the evening. We just ordered Earl's Cajun Salmon. Mm. And that's gonna be the next couple of hours, so see you in a bit. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I said, very nice. Hello, good day, it's the next day. So, um, uh, we put a lot more stuff together last night after we last saw you, and then Dan actually went back to Ikea today, and we're actually about to go back right now, because basically we rented a car. I am not bringing my car to Toronto because uh, I do not want to, driving downtown Toronto is the worst thing we've discovered and I don't really want to have to buy winter tires so I'm just going to park my car at my parents. Thanks mom! <laughs> While we are here and uh, anyway, so we're just trying to get as much as we need as we kind of think of it and anyway. So this is the updated and final update that I'm going to be giving you guys in this vlog. Woo! Here is the office. In all of its shining glory, I had a meeting with the lovely ladies with Nude by Nature today. So, sorry, ignore that. I was just opening it all. But, uh, yeah, this is the rug. Coffee table. Dan put this together today. It matches the shelving units here. And then we actually ended up getting a black lamp instead. So this is the office setup. Some stools. These are versatile, too. They can go higher, so we can actually put them here if we need them at one point. Um, I think eventually we're going to look for a bench to go here. And then in the bedroom that has no bed, <laughs> it has the two gold lamps here, which I think looks so good. And I'm excited to actually get this set up with a bed. <laughs> this is our floor bed. Um, yeah, so that's what's in there. Oh. Yes. So right now, we're gonna go back to Ikea and try and find something for in here. This is the filming, like the beauty room, which I showed you guys before. And basically somewhere in here, I want to have like one of those laundry sorters or something where I can put like products to donate, products to give away, and then like products I'm keeping to sort through PR. And then we just measured the width and stuff of this closet. And we're gonna try and get a tall dresser in here for all of the makeup to go in. Sorry, I don't know why it's going out of focus. But anyway, that's what we're gonna go um, look for at Ikea right now. And that's going to finish up this little kind of moving update vlog. And we actually have our flight back to Vancouver tomorrow, which is Tuesday, September 25th. Tomorrow's the 25th. So we're back in Vancouver as of tomorrow, and then we haven't booked any flights officially or anything, but we'll be officially moving back here to Toronto end of October. So we won't actually be in this place for another three weeks or so. Uh, we just kind of wanted to get everything set up so that when we come back, we'll have internet and we'll be ready to rock. Can't wait to have a professional filming setup, y'all. So for everyone who's been hating on my lighting, don't worry, your woes will soon be gone. <laughs> and ours will too. <laughs> um, so that's kind of the life update guys that's the life update that's the living update and the video update many more things to come super excited look yeah, yeah let's go. good okay all right thanks for watching guys hope you enjoy see you soon